Hey there guys, my name is hey Chen. We are in the test scene today, as for this video, it's going to be a little bit different. We're going to be testing out and showing off, so far, the amazing collection of Star Wars Blaster Mods in Battletown. So, we have got ourselves these three beautiful examples of test subjects that we're going to be trying these on. So, in total, there are two, four, five different blasters, if I'm correct. If I've missed any out, let me know. But at this time, that is how many blasters are available from the Star Wars universe, available as mods in Battletown. If you want to try these out yourself, these are free to download on battletown.mod.io. But, let's get into it. So, the first one right here is the DC-15S. And it was a blaster combined variant of blast techs of a blaster rifle. This weapon was carried by clone troopers in the Galactic Republic during the Clone Wars. So, a cool thing with these right here, these all act very differently, like the blasters of the movies, obviously. So, with this one right here, you can hold with two hands, and you can simply shoot like this. And this sounds like a freaking blaster as well, which is so freaking cool. So you can either go and duel, hand it right here, or one hand it. So let's try this out. Works like a tree. Oh, freaking love it. Our next gun right here is the. If I am correct right here, let's read the E-11, which was a blaster rifle. It was light but powerful blaster manufactured by Blastech Industries once again. And it was a standard weapon served with stormtroopers during the Galactic Empire era. So with this again, you can hold with two hands. Looks very freaking cool. You can't use any of the scopes yet, sadly, in this, which is kind of annoying, but hopefully they do add it is in a future update in these mods right here. But let's try this one out. So as you can see, quite freaking powerful. Oh. <laughs> so freaking cool. Oh, and he's knocked out. Love that. Love that. Okay, then our next one right here, this is a very cool one that is personally my favorite, I don't know about you guys, but this is the Westar-34 and it's designed for a brief but intense surprise attacks at very close range. So ideally, you want to use this for close range attacks as a general pistol slash galactic revolver, whatever you want to call it, which shoots like this. <laughs> So freaking cool. I love the noise as well that it makes. Oh, knocked out. Oh, knocked out. Boom, boom, boom. Then, moving on to the final ones, which you would have already seen if you went and watched my huge Star Wars update video that I did do on some brand new Star Wars mods. But if we go and have a little look, this right here is quite a recognizable one if you don't know the DL. Dash 44, and this one right here has got a little cute scope on it, but it was considered one of the most powerful blasters and pistols in the galaxy, delivering a massive damage close range, which shoots like this. Personally, I think it's a really cool pistol, and when you do use it, I legit do feel like Han Solo doing this, and it looks really freaking cool as well. Don't know about you guys, but so freaking cool to use. Then, last but not least, we have got this bad boy right here, which is a similar one that Ray uses in The Rise of Skywalker. And this one is NN-14. You know how to use one of those? Yeah, pull the trigger. <laughs> but apart from that guys, 
that is literally it for this video. Those are all the blasters of the Star Wars universe available now as Star Wars mods in Battle Talent. Go and download them if you haven't tried them already. These have been on for quite a while now. But as always, if there's any mods that you would like me to showcase next that I haven't covered or maybe some cheeky collections, comment down below. But as always, my name's HN. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. And then, uh, and I'm gonna go, uh, and then I'm gonna go, uh, are you kidding me? <laughs>